Today, I'm gonna to be setting up and decorating my dashboard planner, which I am currently using as my mental wellness journal, using a, one of the sticker books from the Lux Seasonal Florals box set from Live Love Posh, so stay tuned. Hey guys, welcome back to my channel, or if you're new, welcome. My name is Tracy, and I am a girl with plans. Yes, today we are going to be playing around with one of the brand new sticker books from Live Love Posh. This is the Lux Winter Sticker Book, which is part of a four book box set that went on sale on the 16th. Um, you get one for each season, <laughs> obviously, and they're all our beautiful florals mixed with some function. There we go. Hence the name Lux Seasonal Florals. <laughs> I did a full flip through of this box set on my channel. I will link that video down below. I also did a sped up version um, on Instagram. So definitely make sure you are following me if you're not. All of my social media handles are the same. A girl with plans. That's plans with a Z. Um, and I am an affiliate for Live Love Posh. So I will have my affiliate link down in the description box, which will take you directly to this particular sticker book box set. Now my discount code will not work for this particular box. However, it will work for other items. So if you see anything else, my discount code will save you 10% off of that. So all that information will be down in the description box. All right, as I said, we are going to be decorating my dashboard planner which I am currently using for mental wellness journaling. And I think I'm going to change things up as far as how I'm using this side. So, full disclosure, I have not been using these. Um, so each week I'm using a different guided journal and I feel like I do need to use different ones each week because they come, they become super repetitive, but I'm even finding that they are super repetitive when you use the same one throughout the week. Um, so yeah. And plus I just, I don't know. I mean, this one doesn't sound too bad. However, I'm not going to like mix it, um, a hundred percent. I'm just not going to make it a priority. So I'm still going to have the same amount of pages tucked in between each week. If I use it, I use it. If I don't, I don't. Now, last week I used the Happy Planners Gratitude one. And for that one, I didn't use a lot of them. So let's see if I can find one. Here's the Gratitude one. And I liked how I had the morning and the evening separate. And I mentioned that when I was doing my setup. So I think that's how I'm gonna kind of play in with the dashboard layout. So we'll see if I can actually make this happen, at least how I think I have it in my head. <laughs> we'll see. All right, so here we go. <laughs> All right, so flipping through this book, I want to use this set. It has some of the wolves and wolves, yeah. I guess they're wolves, foxes, I don't know. <laughs> <laughs> the furry creatures. Okay. And then of course some beautiful florals taking it a little light and like soft, maybe not light, maybe more soft, but oh my gosh, new sticker books are hard to stay open. I'll tell you that much. And I don't want to take the whole page out because I don't know how much I'm going to use because all of this needs to stay functional. And now I want some of this to be functional. So what I'm thinking, what I'm thinking over here where it's dated, um, this is where I'm going to do, hmm, this is where I'm going to do my daily reflections. So this is going to be my evening journaling. I think over here, I'm going to try to make space for my morning kind of, I don't necessarily want to say affirmations, but like looking ahead, like what I want to achieve for the day ahead. Um, like optimism and positive type vibes is what I'm thinking because this is my mental wellness journal. And one of the things that I definitely want to bring more into this year is positivity and optimism. Not that I'm a negative person, but I do think that sometimes like when life gets tough or life gets difficult, it is easy to kind of focus on the negative so one thing I want to do is focus a little bit more on the positive. 
So that's what I mean by like optimism and positivity and things like that. All right. Um, as you can see, I am not covering up anything. This is actually not a little bad. This isn't a bad quote. It says, keep discovering who you are meant to be. So yeah, I don't mind having that there. Of course, we're going to use, they look like foxes. <laughs> so maybe that's what they are. All right. I'm thinking we need to have them sitting in the florals, right? Is that what you guys are thinking too? Like I can have one here. I don't want to waste any stickers. I'm just trying to size it up. I can probably carry it over, but I don't really, I don't know if I want to carry it over because obviously I can't put a lot of florals over here just because I really do. I, I haven't been journaling the best. Obviously, isn't that kind of like what I say every time? I am going to tear this out. Every time I do one of these, like my journaling hasn't really been on point, but optimism, optimism. We are going to be optimistic <laughs> that it is going to happen this week. So I got to have the space there. All right, maybe we'll do this, this one. We're going to overlap it. There we go. Super cute. Liking it. Okay. Yes, you can see the grid lines. No, I'm not really that bothered by it. Can you believe I just said that? I'm not really bothered by it. Of course, I guess if you if you watch my plan with me, as you know, I don't really white out that much stuff on here. I kind of just go with the flow. It's just too much work. <laughs> I'm sometimes I'm like what you call more of like a lazy planner. So we don't get all like super perfectionism on here. I mean, I will I will move a sticker like eight or ten times, but you know, to make that perfect. But whiting out the lines for some reason that's where I draw the line. <laughs> Okay, liking it, liking it a lot. Okay. So pretty, it's so cute too. Okay, so I think we have to have one over here. Now, this is where I think I still want to do gratitude. Now that I'm not using my gratitude journal this week, I would like to do gratitude. But again, I feel like I don't want to lose the space. But sometimes decorating is ooh, super important. But then really, am I writing complete sentences when I write about gratitude? No. <laughs> I'm still a beginner when it comes to even like any type of journaling. So... If I'm writing about gratitude, it oh, now I do look here. I am. I don't want to white it out, but I do want to wipe that out. Let me um. I don't even know if I've used this one before. I feel like the horizontal lines aren't that bad, and the grid lines aren't that bad because they're just not as bold. There we go. Cute. So pretty. So pretty. All right, I would like a little floral. So yeah, I like I said, I did a full flip through of these sticker books. They are all gorgeous. And in all honesty, you can use them anytime. Like this is in the winter book. I'm sorry. <laughs> these are a little bit easier to peel. I promise you, I'm just struggling today. But um do I think I'm just gonna overlap the date I don't care yes um yeah you can use them whenever you want it doesn't matter that these are in the winter I mean obviously there are a few that might scream more winter than the other ones but these not really I feel like you can use them whenever you want of course seasons are kind of whatever you make them you can have like a snowy season in your planner when it's summer where you are. Who cares, right? All right, so I kind of want some more florals over here. So like I have the florals here and I kind of want them up here to kind of, that's how I'm going to balance them. All 
All right, I'm going to trim this and trim that. No stickers going to waste. If I put a box there or something to kind of set that off, I don't think it'll look as bad. I just didn't want that to like, that was a pretty big piece <laughs> that was just kind of chilling. I kind of want this. I don't know if this is going to come up now because I have it layered, but I kind of want this a little bit higher. There we go. just me being a little <laughs> particular. Okay. So now I have this, but I don't really know where to put it. I'll just do that. So I am curious to know if anybody else is using like the dashboard for any type of journaling, whether it be, I mean, for any type. Just curious and want to know what you use this area for over here. Okay. All right, so I have that. See how it doesn't look as straight when you put the box there? All right, so I have this corner piece, but I don't really know where to put it because... All right, so what I'm thinking is dividing this up somehow. How? So we have like, why are there 19 check boxes? That just sounds, that just sounds strange. A why there is not an even number there. All right, I'm trying to think, do I want to put boxes down, like seven boxes? Just because I kind of want to divide or like have random space. For like daily affirmations, I'm not gonna, I'm just gonna have them kind of everywhere, but maybe I don't need enough. Maybe I'll kind of uh, just put some boxes down to kind of guide me, but like if I don't write in the, like if I write in other areas, that's perfectly fine. I think I'm gonna do that. I think it's gonna be like all over the place type stuff. I think I'm gonna put boxes of all sizes so that way. If I don't have a lot to write, I don't have to have a lot to write. So these boxes are all coming from here. I think I'm gonna turn them all different ways. So if I do this, hold up. Told you, I will change a sticker a thousand times. <laughs> I don't really know if I need boxes as much over there, but I'm kind of liking maybe using this to cover up some of the check boxes. And then this fit there. Do like a cluster without like really doing a cluster and then add another floral there so that way that doesn't just like kind of stand out so i have these left okay that's gonna be too big for that so let's look at the second sheet and get like a smaller you can tell I'm like completely trying to figure out what to do here because I'm quiet. Okay, I think I wanna do something like this, but that means I need to get my rulers so I can trim them. Is 
there we go. Oh my gosh. <laughs> that took a really long, but that the payoff was, it's fabulous. I might even be able to do, can I? I can. Let's, um, <sighs> I was going to say we white it out, but the problem is, is whiting it, a, whiting it out is not, I'm keeping it. I'm not white not looking ahead. I think I'll make it stand out even more. And I am kind of looking ahead. <laughs> right? Okay. This is turning out super cute. I'm sure there is a lot easier. There is an easier way for me to have done that. But it is what it is. <laughs> All right. We have two more florals over here. So... I'm thinking I can do something like that and then do a box. I don't have any more of those. There was only two. But maybe I can use like a scrap or something over there. Or say that straight, but it looks straight enough to me. Okay. I am going to wipe that out. But I kind of want this more in the center. Like that. Okay, I'm kind of liking how this is coming together so far. Let's go ahead and add the remaining boxes. And that turned out super crooked. Now, as many boxes as I'm putting down, I'm using all of the ones that are in this color. I have to use them. That is motivation enough, right? <laughs> okay. All right, so I think that's it for all of the bigger boxes. So the only thing I have now is this are these smaller ones. I guess I can make a big box. I don't know. Just do that there. And then that's seven boxes because I'm not counting that one. That's my header. Okay, let's finish this up. All right, guys, there you go. Uh, this might be my favorite spread. I loved last week's spread, but I love all the stickers here. And because I was, you know, using the boxes, I was able to go a little bit more stickery um, because I have all the writing space with the boxes. And I don't need a lot of box space because I'm literally going to come in here and write something in the morning about some positivity or affirmations or optimism about the day ahead. And then over here is where I'm going to do my evening reflection and then my gratitude there. So I think that's how I'm going to do it this week. We'll see if it works. We'll see if things change up next week. I'll bring you guys along for the journey because again, I am, it's not really that I'm trying to figure out how to use this layout. I'm just trying to figure out 
how to get myself to write in this journal. And um, I, this is more than enough space for me. It's not a space issue. It's just, I got to get into the habit. So I'm going to continue to try. And I really do like the idea of checking into this twice a day. Again, I am going to put my um, guided journals in the middle. So I'm not going to be able to see a beautiful two page spread as I'm writing in it, but I'll move these out after I'm done for the week. But I will put these in the middle so that way if I need to write anything additional or if I want to reflect a little bit more on the day, then I can use some of these guided journals. And I do want to use some of them this week, but I don't want to feel like I have to do it every day if that makes any sense. All right, again, I use stickers from the brand new sticker book from Live Love Posh. This is the Lux Winner, which is part of the four sticker book box set of Lux Seasonal Florals. Um, it does come in a box that you can store them in. It's a sturdy box. I don't have it to show you guys, but it looks absolutely awesome. As an affiliate, I will receive a small commission if you do shop through my link. So I really would appreciate it if you would consider shopping through that link. Um, and I will have that down below. Um, while my discount code does not work for this particular box set, be sure to check out some other items while you're already paying for shipping. You might as well add anything else that was on your wish list. Um, you know, just to kind of save shipping costs in the future, right? <laughs> All right, guys. Thank you so much for taking time out of your day to watch this video. If you enjoyed it, please hit that like button. And if you're not yet subscribed, I hope you will consider hitting that subscribe button as well. All right. I hope you have a good rest of your day, evening or night. Until next time. Bye.